Hi there guys, um, just going to talk you through these um, Wellington boots, they're Barber Bede or Bed, um, B-E-D-E -E, Wellingtons, um, I've had three pairs over the last 10 years, they've been very very good boots, very comfy, I like the way uh, they've got, they haven't got much of a heel on and your foot is quite flat on the floor, which I like, um, so I'll just talk you through the various uh, ages here and what state they're in. So we'll start with these 10 year old ones here. These have got quite perished around here. I mean to have a pair of boots, Wellington boots last 10 years I think is probably a bit unrealistic to be honest. And I'm not suggesting that what I'm highlighting here is a problem in any way. I'm just showing you what happens to them after that time period has elapsed. So uh, as you see this one's got a hole in it. That didn't happen too long ago. I mean, I was wearing these up to a couple of weeks ago because they're just so comfortable. They're made out of a lovely sort of bendy rubber, which just is so flexible. It gives you great freedom of movement when you're walking or doing anything. But unfortunately, they weren't waterproof anymore. Now, these ones here, still, I'd still be wearing these, but the lining on the inside... Can you see that down at the bottom? <clears throat> has come away at the heel um, on both feet and uh, as soon as that lining rubs through the your sock is almost stuck to the rubber on the inside because the rubber is extremely grippy as rubber tends to be and um, it will start tugging on your sock either wear a hole in your sock or it will um, give you a blister one of the two so that's not great. And it's a shame because otherwise these wellies are like perfectly fun functional. There's still bags of grip left. You know, these have had at least, they've had three years of regular use. And in the last year, they've walked for an hour every day, um, every weekday. I don't walk on the weekends. But they've they've been a great boot, really. They've done a lot of miles. So now I'm pleased to see that these newer ones I bought, they've gone back to this bendier rubber. These these ones I had from a few years ago, uh, a lot stiffer, which may be why the backs rub through, because the boot doesn't flex as much, and so inevitably your foot will move within it. Well, these newer ones now. Uh, are back to being very bendy again and um, I'm very very pleased with them so uh, happy walking for me so uh, these toggles on the side I never use those I guess they're just for show maybe you could do them up to stop stuff going in inside your boot um, like pebbles and whatnot uh, they've got a handy little thing on the back here which is good for when you're kicking them off when you get home you can hook them underneath the stone or something and take your boots off like that um the grips are a bit weird i mean if you look at sort of uh where are my other ones so these are some eagle wellies i bought um and you can look at the the grip on there that looks quite technical doesn't it all different directions and stuff so when you look at this one here you might think that's not particularly good and you might slip sideways because there's no longitudinal ridges or anything but uh, it works fine to be honest I don't, can't remember having slipped up in them at any point I suppose the only downside and this might be an upside for some people is that heel is a bit narrower than um, the heel is a bit narrower than full width so if you look at these eagle ones here the the heel goes all the way across doesn't it well and these ones here it doesn't well i suppose it's only a few milli either side so it doesn't really matter does it so yeah there you go nice pair of wellies those ones i'd recommend them i mean i bought these eagle ones uh probably about um six months ago or so uh to see how they panned out uh, they're okay. They, they've got quite a bit of a heel on them. I don't really like that. I like my heel to be down when I'm walking. 
Um, they seem they're a nice flexible welly, but um, one of the main downsides I found was how narrow the leg is. If you're wearing like long socks and trousers, you just won't fit it all in there, and uh, that's uh, that's a bit of a problem. Which is why I went back to the barber ones because they're superior, I think. So um, there you go. Happy walking.